for the first time in the history of Bugoboto, uh, a tall leader like Neda Convener, Dr. Himanta Biswasarma have come and address the uh, crowd for the election campaign, joint campaign of NDPP and BGP. How are you feeling? Elated. Uh, Elated. <laughs> Elated beyond measure. Actually, we, I, I really thought whether we deserve this. I really want to thank him for coming all the way to Bogoto. No doubt Bogoto is a historical place, and uh, he had also mentioned that uh, uh, he looked forward to come back to Bogoto to talk about other issues. Today he focused on the, only on election, and I can't expect more than what he has spoken today. Thank you. If elected to power again, what are some of the issues at Ford that you would want to immediately address, uh, especially for your constituency people? Well, last term, uh, we could not do much, particularly for the villagers the, and also the educated and uneducated youth. We could not do much. We focused on skill development. This time around, if I come back, uh, we will be doing, continue the same thing. At the same time, I think there are lots of areas of uh, employability for the youths which uh, we seriously have not explored, like uh, hospitality sectors, agri and like sectors, automobile sectors, and um, so many other sectors out here where we really have not developed. So those are some of my areas where I will be confining my attention to. So today I traveled all the way from Kohima to uh, cover this election rally right. and well the roads are not very good. So yeah. if elected to power, will the, will, also, will the road development also be one of your top agendas? Definitely, definitely. I've already announced that uh, whatever funds we have, whether it be in LADP or whatever position I get, God willing, if I win, we will give priorities to road. Uh, this road that you traveled, uh, actually is already proposed for national highway. This sanction, we brought it in 2016, but uh, because of obvious reason, this could not be taken off yet. But I think it's already now in the pipeline. The NHI DCL has taken several rounds of survey. So maybe within a span of three years, we will be having one of the best roads.